Hello lads, I believe we have something to celebrate today. Uh, a lot of you in the past have asked me to do a quad injection or to film a video showing how to do a quad injection and I have been hesitant to do it. I've never done it in the past. It was I was always a little bit scared to do it and so that's why I've never done any videos on quad injections. But you'll be happy to know that I finally broke that benchmark, broke that milestone. I have done my first couple of quad injections by special demand or special request and happy to report that it wasn't as bad as I thought. In fact, it was probably better than doing a glute injection. So today I just want to share with you what that experience is like because uh, over the next week or two, I am going to film, edit and release a full guide on how to do quad injections because I think they're uh, a good option to have available to you, you know, if you're sick and tired of doing glute injections or you just want a different spot to do it. But today I just want to talk about how it went and overall it was a really simple process. In fact, like I said earlier, it was probably easier than doing a glute injection, right? So let's talk about the pros of the quad injection. Well, the pr number one, it's simple. Okay, with the glute injection, you have to kind of twist around to find the spot, you know, and figure out where the correct spot is on your glutes to do the injection with a quad. Your leg is right in front of you, your quad's right in front of you. You just find the spot, which I'll tell you how to do in the next video, and then you inject. So it's pretty simple and it's quick because again, there's no funny twisting and trying to find the spot. It's just there in front of you and you inject. And finally, it's, or at least so far, it's been pain free. So I've done three quad injection so far and each time has been pretty pain free. Surprisingly, I believe this is because the needle is slightly thinner and shorter. So it just seems to be a lot more smoother and comfortable giving that injection. Now, there is one sort of con to this that I've noticed in my experience with quad injections and just bear with me, this is limited experience. So, you know, I might, I might have different opinions on this in the future, but the one kind I've noticed so far is that you do get post injection pain somewhere between one to four days after the injection, right? Now it's not bad. It's like, you know, the type of um, muscular pain you get when you work out, when you work out a muscle and you get that delayed onset of muscle soreness. It's like that, but a bit more concentrated. It's still a lot better than the post injection pain that you'll get in your glute if you do a glute injection and you get pain. When I do glute injections, I don't usually get pain, but when I do, it's really concentrated. It feels like a bruise. It feels like a lump and it's really painful to sit on and, and sort of deal with that. The one in the quad injection so far hasn't been anything like that, but it is noticeable enough to know that you've got some sort of pain there. So that's really it. So far, I'm happy. I love the quad injections. It's nice having two other places to be able to do injections now. I should have done this sooner. I should have listened to you guys, so I apologize. Uh, but thanks for the suggestion. And based on your suggestion, like I said earlier, I'm doing a full detailed guide, a how-to guide to do a quad injection. I'm gonna tell you what equipment you need to use. It's gonna be a lot better than my previous guide I did on how to inject testosterone for TRT. This one's gonna be specific to the quad and hopefully it's gonna answer all your questions and show you exactly how to do it. So that'll be out in about a week or two once the editing and uploading is done. And and I'll see you there till next time.